Hello, my name is David McTaggart, and I'm an MSc candidate in the Department of Plant Sciences at the University of Saskatchewan. And today, it is my pleasure to describe my research titled Developing Remote Sensing Tools to Identify Superior Populations of Sicer Milkfetch and Meadow Brome Grass for Stockpile Grazing. And to better understand what all that means, the objectives of my research are coming up next. The objectives of my research are first, to identify populations of Sicer Milkfetch and Meadow Brome Grass with both a high stockpiling yield and high nutritional value. And then second is to identify the image-based traits recorded by our drone that track forage yield for Sicer Milkfetch and Meadow Brome Grass. So what is stockpile grazing? This is the practice of harvesting your pasture early during the growing season, and then, well, allowing it to stockpile. That is, grow until the fall or winter, like this, when the livestock can come through and graze it a second time. Now, our goal is to develop improved varieties of Sicer Milkvetch and Meadow Brome Grass through new selection techniques like drone imaging, and then these varieties can be seeded together in stockpiling pastures. And now you're probably wondering, well, how does this practice impact the sustainability of Canadian agriculture. Our research into stockpile grazing and drone imaging impacts the economic and environmental sustainability of Canadian agriculture. For ranchers, it decreases the cost of winter feed by minimizing the machine hours and fertilizer needed to maintain hay stands and silage production system, thereby decreasing the greenhouse gas emissions from livestock production, while also improving the nutrient use efficiency of manure and urine from livestock by applying it directly to the pastures. For breeders, applying drone imaging into their selection pipelines has the potential to reduce the labor and time needed to develop new varieties, therefore improving our ability to release forage varieties suited to our changing climate. So my future work will be informed by our current results that are indicating that first, we have populations of meadow brome grass and sicer milkfetch with our higher yield than our current Czech varieties. And then second, that my current results from the drone imaging are demonstrating significant correlations with dry forage yield. And we're looking to increase those correlations further by developing more advanced traits. That all concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for tuning in.